Hi everyone, today we're looking at the effect of temperature on membrane permeability. We're using a beetroot to demonstrate this. Why a beetroot? Because it's highly coloured, has a very distinctive red stain. So the way it's going to work is I'm going to use the core borer to obtain small discs of beetroot. Our independent variable is temperature, so we'll be soaking those discs in a range of temperatures, 30 degrees Celsius, 40, 50, 60. And then after leaving them in distilled water for half an hour, we're gonna run that water through a colorimeter and that will tell us effectively how much of the stain has left the beetroot and how much that membrane has broken down. Remember at high temperatures, there's higher kinetic energy that causes movement to the phospholipid bilayer, creating holes, and that's what allows the stain to escape. So there's the background, let's get into the method. So using the core borer, We're going to take thin discs, making sure we don't include the skin. We're going to pop them on a mounted needle. Now we place it in our beaker. So in this first experiment, we've reached 30 degrees Celsius and we'll make sure that beetroot is soaked for one minute before removing it. And then we'll place these cylinders in the distilled water and leave that for half an hour before using the colorimeter. So after half an hour, we can already see an incredible difference. This is the hottest temperature. So you see here that more stain has leached out of the beetroot compared with this end at the lower temperature. We're going to use the colorimeter to prove this quantitatively. But isn't that amazing? huge membrane damage on the high temperatures. So I've placed my various solutions in the cuvette. It's now time to calibrate the colorimeter. Because the solutions are pink, we need to add a blue filter. I've got a cuvette filled with distilled water and I'm just gonna press the R in order to calibrate the colorimeter. And that now means that we're ready to test our samples, placing them back into the slot, but this time pressing the test button. So my reading here is 0 0.13. And then for the beetroot that was in the highest temperature, just as a comparison, my reading here is much higher at 